Most of you will agree that growing a following with real engagement could completely change your business and financial future, and you're not wrong. In this video, I'm gonna show you proven strategies you can implement today, how Instagram works today, it's not the same as what it was even a couple of months ago, and how to get the results that you want extremely fast. And truly, you will not need to spend a dollar to make any of this happen, but more on that later. All right, so if you get this step wrong, it's pretty much the equivalent of launching a brand new company and doing it on a junk website. Okay, so we're over here on Instagram. A couple of things that you need to know is how to address your bio. So this is, again, it's much like your website. When people go here, they decide whether or not they're going to follow or engage or look at anything. So first and foremost, you have your username. This is typically, right, your business or your company name. And then this is your name plate. If you have a big enough name, this is actually searchable. Gary here, anyway, in the social media world, isn't necessarily using this the way I would suggest, but for you as a clothing brand, you could put your boutique or your brand, and then it should say something about being a clothing brand or apparel brand or streetwear brand, because this is actually searchable. The next thing we need to look at here is tell me why I should pay attention. Now, for example, Gary is big into the, uh, I would say, business world, so he's telling us his accolades, things that why we should pay attention to him, so CEO, chairman, etc. You need to make sure that your bio highlights why somebody should pay attention to you. For example, if you're in the number one boutique in the Pacific Northwest and you serve women who are stressed or full of anxiety, then make sure that you put that here, right? Everybody needs to know why they should and what's in it for them, why they should actually follow you. Next thing you need to make sure that you do is um, actually post stories. Three to seven stories um, every single day. Preferably, you actually pull out your phone and you talk to camera. It's a much better th experience to do it this way. Sharing content or reposting your stories does okay, but not nearly as effective. And then I would say the biggest one here, and Gary's using this as well, is right. so this is his new book, Day Trading Attention. Highly suggested, by the way. You can use highlights which are basically saved stories to explain things that may be a little bit more complex. For example, you may, again, from that brand that I'm talking about, the boutique, you could talk about things to do in the Pacific Northwest, or you could do, you know, meet the founder, or you could do, you know, try-ons or day in the lives. And so you could give people a really quick idea of who it is that's actually on this profile and why they should follow you. And then you got the actual feed, right? So they look at these things first and then they jump directly to the feed. Is the feed something that is talking about me as a person or you if you're the business owner, your customer, your avatar, or are you actually talking to them, right? So for this, it's like Gary's talking to young people who are starting businesses. And so if you were a young person starting a business or in the business world, you probably have heard of Gary or you have already subscribed or liked or followed a lot of his content. So make sure that it isn't just a bunch of stuff that is like, well, I guess if you are wearing clothes, you're gonna buy from me, right? It needs to be very specific to your audience, the content that you're creating, which we'll talk about here in a second, but do not neglect your bio, because if you send people there through the ways that we're gonna talk about later in this video, and you send people there and they don't actually do anything like follow you or join the email list or go to your website, then it is a waste and you are putting in all that effort and I've talked to many people who do not grow because they send people to their profile and they're like, wait, my content was good, but they didn't follow, okay? Or they didn't stick around or they didn't go to my website. No actual views generated real revenue, okay? So this is the reason why. People do not grow a following on Instagram by happenstance and the amount of work needed is quite a bit. Honestly, if you're here for a, you know, a get rich quick type of scheme, then this video is not for you. But if you want a business that will last the test of time, then you will need to create content the right way and do it consistently over time. It's not that I don't want you to make money quickly. That's not the case. I want you to make money quickly, but I'd rather your business be around in the next three, five, 10 years versus you are a flash in the pan for three to six months. Anybody can do that. Anybody can go viral and then fall off. It'd be harder to go viral and stay on. 
And so we're gonna build the foundations here of what a good profile is, how Instagram is gonna help you, and more importantly, how you can take advantage of it while it's still one of the top platforms for your brand. All right, so let's get into the posting frequency challenge and what to post. It's very, I think, powerful. We do this a lot with our OSL members. But before we do that, I just wanted to say, hey, howdy and hello. My name is Aaron. I'm one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding. And alongside my business partner, Christian, we specialize in helping clothing brands scale online. In the last 12 months alone, we've helped over 250 clothing brands. And I would appreciate it if you would give us a nice little like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Just so you know, my business partner, Christian, he focuses on Shopify and website and apps and everything on the, I would say, more technical side of things and mine is more the marketing piece. So the channel comprehensively covers everything to do with clothing brands. If you do this in the next three seconds, if you give us a like and a subscribe in the next three seconds, I will share with you the greatest rapper alive. All right, so let me share with you what I want you to do for the first 30 days in this challenge. And this is exactly what we chat. Like I said, I, I mentioned that we share with our program members who are growing their brands, whether they're just starting out or building multiple six figure years or six figure months. I tell everybody to go through this challenge because it is a great way for you to find out who your audience is. But then let's start talking about maintaining and longevity afterwards here in a second. So 30 day challenge, very, very simple. So what I need you to do is create four posts per day on and then spread them across four different platforms. So you're talking about short form content specifically. So three reels and then one video carousel. Preferably you start on Instagram, all right? And then you need to share it across the other three platforms as well. So Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. Those reels are extremely important because they're probably one of the best ways to get discovered, but video carousels are taking off as well. The video carousel is gonna look like a thumb stopping type of image, so a single image. And then as you scroll through, you'll see an actual video. I think we actually have one over on our profile. Uh, recently so this is kind of what it looks like um, right here okay so new Facebook ad targeting update for clothing brands thumbnail image then video and then comment Facebook ads below and then people comment below um, and then we send them something so same type of thing that you can do for yourself again that thumb stopping image and then video but you wanna do four posts per day, and it's for just for 30 days. I know that's 120 posts over 30 days, and that may be what you would normally do in like a year. I get that, it's a lot. It's not supposed to be maintainable, but actually it would be great if you could. But the point is to get better at creating content, understanding your audience, and more importantly, what it will actually take to grow your brand. Because if you do that, when you do this challenge, you will get more followers, you will get more views, you will get more traffic to your site, you will make more money. And so, yes, this is um, the hard work part. I'm not gonna tell you that you need to, no, we're gonna get into this actually. I'm gonna tell you a couple of little, you know, one-off things that you can do to make your profile better and to reach more people. Sure, we're gonna get into that here in a second, but the best way to reach more people and actually make money, because I think that's why you're here, is to do what I'm saying here, right? Do that 30 day challenge. Now let's talk through some very small details, like I mentioned earlier, that will make or break your growth and it will speed up the likelihood of reaching more people. Now, I don't want to make this hearsay, right? So Adam, the guy who runs Instagram, CEO, had this to say about followers. The engagement rate on your content is more important than your follower count. And this to say about how to grow on Instagram. Care about your follower counts, yes focus more on your engagement rates. Essentially, what it all comes down to is that followers do not matter. Um, I mean, we have 5,000 followers, whatever. Like, if we have 50,000 followers, it doesn't mean anything if there's no real engagement. And we're, I mean, to be honest, this is on YouTube. Our focus is YouTube. However, Instagram is very powerful for you guys as clothing brands, and Instagram does really work for us as well. But I don't care about anything except actual engagement. A better sign of how well you're doing on Instagram is how many likes you're getting per post, how many views you're getting per reel, how many reshares you're getting per photo or reel or carousel. Now let's jump into some specifics here of things that's gonna help you grow faster. But first, hold up just one second. I wanna say that if you are a clothing brand owner and wanna jump into the specifics of your brand and how to grow profitably online, you can schedule a free 45 minute strategy session with us. All you need to do is check out the link in the description down below. There are limited spots, literally. So just go grab a time right now. Okay, first thing I need you to do is unfollow 
everyone who is not relevant to your niche. I mean everyone. I only want you to engage with people and brands that are in your niche. That's it. This is a business profile, so let's treat it like one. For all of you who are like, I got a personal brand and I treat my personal like my business and vice versa, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You need to treat your business like an actual business. I need you to also go and engage. You posting and expecting people to engage with you makes no sense if you're not going to engage first, especially people just starting out. Spend 15 to 30 minutes per day, right? Not too much. I know you're already on there. If you don't know how long you're on there, just like open up your iPhone or whatever you have, like iPhone specifically. Scroll to the left and then tell me how many hours you're on social media and tell me you don't have 15 to 30 minutes. I'll wait. So you have 15 to 30 minutes per day leaving legit comments and likes on your followers content. Your followers, not the people you're following, the followers content. Those are your customers, people who said that they actually like you. For example, for us, the 5,000 people who are on our profile, like I can spend 15 to 30 minutes a day going and engaging with their content because they're probably likely clothing brand owners and likely people who would engage with us and probably work with us at some point, hopefully. Same thing for you. If they like you or they follow you, then you should engage with them. As soon as you post, leave the platform for about 30 minutes. You could leave for an hour, but I do like getting in the comments if you get a lot of comments and responding back to them. But Instagram also, it's kind of a weird little trick or a little secret. Shh, don't tell nobody that they want to get you to come back so they're going to send it to more people so you get notifications so that you do go back into the platform so if you post and then walk away close it's going to be much more likely to share it to people right now is this a big boost yeah maybe five percent but something else to add probably the biggest and most effective way to grow a following on instagram has to do with the way that you craft your message for the purpose of this video i'm going to show you the most popular way and the way that you can implement it today to grow. There are technically three pieces of content that you should be posting on, actually a couple of more, but just three main ones. And then one that's overarching, like the biggest one. And just like I said earlier, right? What, what Adam said is probably what I would follow, right? Create shareable content. Now let's walk through an example of what shareable and how to create content around this. The category I was mentioning earlier, it's called, uh, it's called what to do content. So what to do. A lot of people look at this as how to, but what to do is telling you what you should do. How to is explaining how to do something versus like telling people what they need to do. For example, let's say again, you are that clothing brand that's from the Pacific Northwest and you want to reach a wider audience. Okay, we're actually, this is a real life example. We're doing this right now with a brand and you want to reach a wider audience. Okay, so the, you know, ads are getting a high frequency and you just want to reach, okay, bigger top of the funnel group of people, right? So I want to keep that audience lower. So I would create content around what my audience likes. For example, I would want to know how to style, what to style, if you went, dot, dot, dot. Okay, what to style or how to style, again with the same thing, I'm telling them what to do. It's kind of how-to content, I get it. I know it's a little confusing. But what to style or how to style going to the beach in 2024, okay? Or you could do the three best beaches for families or the most hidden beaches, whatever it may be, it has nothing to do with clothing, which I get, but you are going to be rocking your clothes. Obviously you should be wearing your clothes and you're going to be talking about these things. This is shareable. Now, let me go back to writing this out here. You need to make sure that it's shareable. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. Make sure that it's shareable. Did I spell it correctly? No, I didn't. Shareable. Need an E in there. So <laughs> I'm going to leave it in here. So make shareable content what's shareable big top of the funnel stuff now you guys are probably great at creating content that's like here's my outfit or here's a flat lay and it's very specific to the audience and you're calling them out and that's completely fine that content is good it's going to hit a warm audience but when you when you have a circle here and let me just make sure that this is actually shown here we have a circle here and you have your actual audience like here that's we'll just label it real quickly this is your audience if you have a warm audience, you're gonna reach everybody here, but you have to create wider content to go outside of that circle, right? So this is a broad example of content. So the three best beaches, let's think through another example here. How to travel with family. Okay, this is all summer, right? We're, this is summer when we're recording this, but it doesn't matter. Travel with family could be winter edition, but it's like the best, like how to do, you know, plane tickets. You can do a whole series, so plane, you could do, you know, road trip, whatever it may be. And guess what? If you're going on that road trip, if you're going to be flying, guess what? If I have a great 
I would say basics or travel apparel. I'm gonna be talking about that, hey, at the end of the video, probably do a call to action. Look, look, if you're looking for all of this and you want this example, whatever, and you want all of these clothes to make it easier for your travel, I will guarantee your travel will be better and better clothes. You can comment the word plain and I will send you my full checklist and a link for whatever you want to do. This is a this is a bonus for you. Great offer. I'm putting a bunch of text here to just say whatever's going on, but uh, my point is brainstorm, think, do research about what type of content that is shareable. Would you share it with your spouse? You, you probably see it right now where you see some B-roll or like secondary footage and they said like, if you hit the share button, the first person who pops up is the person you should go on this trip with. That's why they're doing it, right? They're doing it because they want the content to be shareable. Again, going back to the shareable part here, right? If you wouldn't share it, nobody else would either and don't create it, don't post it if they're not gonna be shareable. All the way through the video content description, tagging, filters, all of this stuff really matters. Couple of things here as we get into how do we grow even farther, right? So this is the content piece, but now we need to get into the tactical. Okay, so we should be tagging, right? Hopefully you got a, hopefully you got a collaborator or something like that, so somebody who's in there tagging somebody. I want you to also tag not only the people, but location, okay, that's searchable. You also have filters, use filters. A best, the best way to use a filter if you don't wanna have a bunch of glaze and you're like, I don't wanna mess with photography or anything like that, use a 4K filter. The other way that you can be searchable is through music. And one little trick if you don't know this is go searching on reels. So for example, you can go to reels here and we'll see what pops up. You can actually click on the actual reel this way. You can save it. All right, so save the audio, and then that's a great way for you to create your new reel. Even if you have a business profile or you can't use music that's licensed, this is a great way to do it is to go to the actual reel, save it, and then go create your new reel from this song. Now, you can't just go search for the one that you want automatically, but that's why you should be prepping ahead of time. So it's searchable by music, through your filters, location, collaborators, and, and then people. All of those are searchable to reach even more people through your Instagram organic. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching this far into the video. Just for that, if you want the checklist of everything that we go through whenever we work with somebody organically, just comment the word checklist down below. We'll send that over to you so that you can implement everything in an actual PDF version. Just comment the word checklist down below. Okay, so now you know how to use Instagram organic to grow your brand. You need to check out this video on how to use Instagram ads to grow your clothing brand next. All right, go watch this video right here. All right, y'all, have a great rest of your day. I will see you next time. And P.S., please make sure that you subscribe.